Okay, this is step one. I need two hands to make the cell. I'm doing this handheld with the phone right now, so I used a lancet, and all I need is one drop of my own blood. I am not going to use the ferrofluid in this at all. There's plenty of, and it doesn't matter if this dries. Okay, all I'm going to use is mouse milk, which is a dissolution agent for making a super cell. So I'm going to use my dropper, mouse milk, there's the magnet there, there's the other piece of the optical flat glass. So, you know when you push in a lancet slowly, it kind of hurts. So, I did this, showed people this like a year ago. All I need is one drop. That's more than enough blood because this is optically flat glass. So, there's enough nanoparticle of iron in my own blood to make a magnetic, a holographic magnetic viewing device. If you don't think this is cool, then you're an idiot. So definitely the first person in the world, however I've done this before, like a year ago, first person in the world to make a magnetic holographic viewing device using my blood. Just using the nanoparticles of iron in my own blood. So I might have to lance myself on another finger or probably closer to the tip where it's really sensitive, but all I need is a drop. So, and it doesn't matter if the blood dries because once I actually put the mouse milk here and I swish it around a little bit with my eyedropper. It'll blend right in. So I'm going to show you that. So go to video number two and tell me if you think, which of course I already know the answer, if you can make, see I'm going to have to lance myself again. I need like a another, I need like a big heaping drop of blood. You tell me if I can make a magnetic viewing holographic, pardon me, holographic magnetic viewing device with uh, human blood? And the answer is yes. I'll show that to you in the next video after I get done stabbing myself again. Okay? Thank you so much for watching.